All right, so we are on our first night of boot camp in October, and um, you're gonna need mini bands, or if you don't have mini bands, a long band would be fine, and um, a light set of weights and a medium heavy set of, set of weights. So I'm gonna do fives uh, and tens, and then I have mini bands that I'll use as well. So if you have something in those ranges, or at least a variety of things to choose from, that would be wonderful. And we're gonna start with a little bit of hip mobility here. So we're gonna begin by going into a low squat. So just drop down into a nice low squat, elbows to the knees, just stay there. Just kind of sway back and forth, wake up those hips, and rock from the side of your foot, outside, inside of your feet. And then we'll come right on out of that. We won't stay too long. So just come up out of that squat and then go back down. Getting up is the hardest part, right? So just side to side, rocking around, and then come out, the, out of it. And then one more time, we're going to go down. This time, it's going to look a little different. So only if you're comfortable doing this, I want you to drop one knee down, okay? And then come right back up to your spot and then drop the other knee down and come up to your spot. So what's happening is you're working on that internal rotation in the hip and then here. So if you need to have your hands on the ground, you could also support yourself like this if you wanted to, okay? So maybe you're not feeling quite steady enough, but don't push it. If you wanna just stay with the rocking side to side, like we just did, that's okay too. And we'll do one more on each side. And last one. And then you're gonna come right back up out of it and stand tall and take a nice big stretch. Ah, open up through the front of the body. We are gonna come back down. So come back down into tabletop position to the ground. <clears throat> and we're gonna move from here into a lunge. So again, still working those hips, go into a lunge. I know normally I have you in like a longer position, but I want you low like this and kind of compact and then right back to the your all fours. Lunge forward, other side, and switch. We're just gonna keep that going, adding a little bit more here in a moment. And one more. All right, on this next one, we're gonna start waking up or engaging our back. So take one leg forward into the lunge, hold right here. I want you to round through your upper back. So knee is under hip, your other knee's at 90, round, release, look forward, and then do it again. So kind of a cat cow in this lunging position to feel really good through that big upper back, right? In that thoracic spine. And one more. And release. Good. Same thing on the other side. So take your leg in and switch. And then round, scoop your belly button to your spine. And release. Good. Two more. Such a great back stretch. So enjoy both of those positions. And last one. And release. All right, while we're in this position, we're just gonna kind of stay here, but check it out, looks a little different. Your back knee is gonna turn a quarter turn. Okay, so now you're in kind of a modified warrior position, if you will. And we're gonna lunge forward. So lean toward that, that leg out to the side, lean here. And then I want you to rock back and stretch out the hamstring of the front leg. Okay, so go back into it, slow, just reach. And then rock back and only go as low as you're comfortable going. And reach, you don't have to use your arm, I just think it helps kind of make me move further in that direction. And rock back. One more time, big reach. And rock back and hold. All we're gonna do is switch to the other side, so just transition, drop a knee down. So the leg that's out, the toes are turned oh, perpendicular from the body, okay? So again, we're gonna move into that warrior position and then rock back. And keep in mind each side, different levels of flexibility. So do not push it if it doesn't feel good. And when you're in this rock back position for the hamstring stretch, right? We wanna keep our backs flat, we don't wanna round, so you don't have to touch the ground if you can't. And let's do one more, big one right here. And rock back. And good. All right, you can stay on the ground. We're gonna go right into a downward facing dog. So pop your hips up, downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment, just kind of march those heels off the ground. Enjoy that stretch. And take one leg up behind you. And we'll step it into a full lunge forward this time. So full lunge forward. Looks a little bit different, feels a little bit different because it's more for the hip flexors. And then we're gonna reach our arm up, back, and around. 
Do that again. Big shoulder rotation. And one more time. And set your hand down. Push back into your downward facing dog. And pick up your other leg. And lunge it forward. Hold right here. Reach. And circle it back around. And one more time. Good job. And push back in your downward facing dog. Switch to the other leg. Lunge it forward. And circle the arm. Good. Keep it coming. And last time on the other side. Push back. And lift the leg. And swing it forward. And reach. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit more limber at this point. We have a couple more things that we're going to do on the ground. And hands to the ground. Both knees come underneath your hips. All right, so we're going to do a little balance action here. I want you to tuck your toes. Rock back ever so slightly. Feel stretch in the bottoms of your feet. And then steady yourself, hips over knees. We're going to lift our knees off the ground. Now check this out. First thing first is just right hand lifts off the ground. And then sets down. Left hand picks up off the ground. And then down. One more on each side. And last one. Now rock yourself back, knees to the ground, little stretch for the bottoms of the feet. We're gonna come right back up. This time we're gonna pick up our feet. So engage the core, pick up your knees. Right foot picks up, set it down. Left foot picks up and down. One more on each side. So your knees are still hovering above the ground. And last one. And then rock back, knees to the ground. And stretch. Now, if you want to, we're going to do alternating arm and leg. So your right hand and your left foot come off the ground. If you want to, just stay with hands only. That's fine. You can do that. So come up, knees hovering above the ground. And right hand, left foot. Ready? Brace your core. Don't tip. Pick it up. Set it down. Switch to the other side. Pick it up. And one more on each side. Woo! Little contralateral lift. And last one and release. Good. Sit back and take your palms, face them up, and enjoy a stretch. All right. So, not a big cardio warm-up, but we're going to get to that. So, let's come to our feet right now and get those feet moving a little faster. So, heel digs to the front. Okay. So, just start low impact. If you feel like you want to get going a little bit bigger, why don't you go ahead and hop those heel taps to the front. So, you're pulling your toes up, working through the shins, Good. So your choice, low impact, high impact, up to you. You've got four, three, two. We're going to take taps to the back right here. Looks like this. Tap, tap. So no jump for level one. Or little taps to the back right here. Move your arms at the same time. We've got four, three. And now we're going to move side to side. So easy taps to the side. Right? You got those arms. You know where this is going. Or take it into jumping jacks, nice and easy. Perfect. Four, three, two, march in place right here. Easy does it. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to go right into the higher intensity. So if you need a low impact, do it. Otherwise, heels to the front, pump your arms. Come on, flex your feet. Dig your heels down. You've got four, three, go right into the back toe tops right here. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. And here's four, three, two, and right to jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, just little baby ones. And four, three, two, one, rest. Rest it out. Bring your knee across the body, a little stretch. You go one more time through that. And then we're gonna head into our first bit of work. All right, heels to the front, ready, set, go. A little bit faster this time, come on. Feel your heart rate pick up. Pump your arms. You got four, three, two taps to the back right here. Tap, tap, tap. So you're kind of leaning forward, still pumping those arms. Four, three, and jumping jacks, go. Nice job. Toes turn out slightly. Four, three, two, and release. Good, little rotations, release through the back. Okay, so in this session, we are gonna work our way into the 300 workout, okay? So just be prepared for that. It's coming, the full thing is coming next week. But today, we're just gonna do a small version of it to get our body ready to go, okay? 
So here's what that looks like. It's timed, okay? If you want to, you can try to go for reps, but I'm gonna time it so that you don't have to count because it's a little bit hard to do that when we're all on Zoom. So first exercise, jump squats. So modified jump squat, you come up on your toes, you don't jump. So practice these with me. Okay, so this is your jump squat modified or all the way off the ground, just like that. That's your first exercise. I'm gonna give you two in a row. The second one is a push-up. This is the full push-up. Okay, we're going for 40 seconds. So you can do knee push-ups or you can do them all the way on your toes. Completely up to you. But first two exercises, 40 seconds at a time. All right, so jump squats it is. You can try to go for 20 reps. If you really want to push that, that is the goal to get 20 reps done. Otherwise, um, just go over time and don't worry about counting it. And hold on here. Come on, timer. Where are you at? Oh, sorry. Three, two, one, jump squats. Let's go. So you're going for 20 reps. Remember, we're dropping our backside. We're exploding off the ground. Good, really drive, heel to toe, push off of the ground. You're halfway through that time frame. All right, 10 seconds to go. If you're going for that 20 reps, come on, push. Get every single last one in. And time is up, great job. Take it right to the ground. Push-ups are next, okay? Push-ups are next. A little bit of room here. 40 second push-ups, hands right outside the line of the shoulders. Get ready, get set, and begin. You're only doing this one time, okay? Only one time through. Think about your push-ups, your thumb and forefinger, rip the ground. Still going for 20 reps if you can. Halfway through, right here. Woo. Come on, push through it. Think about that good form. Shoulder blades squeezing together. You've got 10 seconds left. And time is up. Woo. Sit back and stretch. All right. Take a little breather right here as we move into the next one. Okay, next up, dips. So these can be done on a platform if you want to, like a a bench or a chair or a couch. You can also do dips on the ground with your hands under your shoulders, fingers turned out slightly. We lift up off the ground and we drop our hips down and up. So it's a tricep exercise. So that is your next exercise, tricep dips, followed by a hollow hold, which is right here, okay? So get ready, get set. See that timer going again? And dips for 40. Okay, 20 reps if you can. Shift your hips back a little bit towards your hands if you want to feel more in the triceps. These are going to burn out your triceps real quick. You might already be there. Halfway through the time frame. Come on. You can do it. Woo! Anybody getting close to 20 reps? Yeah. Come on, 10 seconds. Nice job, nice job. Come on, five seconds more. Push right through to the end. Three, two, time is up. Woo! And shake it out. Okay, quick recovery. We go right into our hollow hold. It's a 40 second hollow hold. You can't do anything except just stay right there. So let's go for it. Three, two, one, and hold. Legs straight. You can have your head on the ground if you need to. Arms out to the side, make it harder. We are pulling our abdominals down, keeping the legs low. Great job. Now squeeze your inner thighs a little bit tighter together for me. You're halfway. Halfway. Come on. Can you take your arms further away from your body? Just give it a try. Nice work. Nice work. You've got 10 seconds left. Come on. Almost there. And that's your timer right there. You're done. Woo. All right. Breathe. Now, finally, we're gonna lay on our back or do leg lifts from the ground. So 
I'm gonna give you the first option with one leg. So hands by your side, one leg at a time. This is pretty basic, okay? Keeping the low back completely safe. Next option is knees slightly bent and you're lifting your legs up, tapping your heels down. Next option from the ground, this may not be for everybody or anybody, but both legs come up straight, control back to the ground. This one is not counted at all, it's only time. So do what is the safest thing for your body. And here we go, 40 seconds. So again, I'm gonna just go through the options. You begin, this is option one, option two, bent legs. Option three, straight legs. You gotta breathe right through it and keep your hips in the same position the whole time. Come on, you got it. You're more than halfway already. Breathe through this. Exhale as you come up. And five seconds to go. This is it. And your time is up. Whew. You made it. Okay, that wasn't so bad, right? So that is the first view of the 300 workout, which if you've never done it with me before, you should look it up, but it's 300 reps, and we will get to that next week. This was just a little 100 rep, okay? Um, ideally, 100 rep exercise for you to get going with it. Now we're going to move into a drop down set of 40, 30, 20. We've got one, two, three, four, five exercises to work through. And we're going to start with 40 seconds, recover 30 seconds for everyone, and then 20 seconds for everyone. So you're going to need um, a mini band for rowing. Okay, we're going to be right here in a bent over position, rowing with our medium mini band. You're going to need heavy weights for a deadlift to clean. And then you're going to need um, uh, weights for bicep curls. And that is all. Okay, so. Let's go over that clean real quick. Pick up your weights for me. We're gonna start with our deadlift. So this is the base part of the move. So everybody do some deadlifts with me. Shoulders are rolled back. Practice some deadlifts. All right, perfect. And now the next phase of this move is the clean. So we're gonna have soft knees, have our hin hips hinged. We're just gonna come up here and hold the clean. Okay, so it looks like this. So we have a little squat to hold the clean. And then we just press right back down. Let's do it again. Clean, hold. So you're activating through the upper back. And let's do it again. We're not doing a press on this one. Just hold the clean. So here's what it looks like together from the deadlift position. We deadlift, we come out of it, and we clean and hold. And then we go right back to set. Let's try it one more time. Deadlift, clean and hold, and return, okay? So bicep curl to press, this is your other move. Hammer curl, press straight up and release down. So keep it close to the body, a little bit gentler on the shoulders. All right, we're gonna start with a jump rope, a mock jump rope. So that's why we did all those little warm up moves in the beginning. Okay, so jump rope is just like this. Or if you need to, you can kick your heels to the front. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. So jump rope, arms can go forward or backwards, whatever works. This is just kind of a mixed bag of cardio and strength. And now if you want to switch your arms to a backward circle, okay, feels a little different on the body. And remember, you can keep it low impact with a light jog. Arms are still moving. Good job, good job. Let's go forward again. Only five seconds left. Your next move is gonna be a mini band row. Ready? And time is up. So grab a medium mini band from your stash, or if you only have a long band, that is fine too. You got a long band, you're gonna put it underneath your feet, cross the band, hinge at your hips and row, just like this. If you got a mini band, you're gonna pull that mini band apart and you're gonna row. Just like so, ready? Let's give it a try. 40 seconds, hinge and pull. So I want you to give me a little squeeze at the top and then slow down. So if you're using a mini band, you're pulling that mini band apart as you pull it up. A lot of shoulder and back activation. Good job, halfway through. This one's not about speed at all. So really enjoy the slow pace. Only 10 seconds to go. 
come on, keep the band low so it's not hurting your neck and shoulders. One more rep. And that is all for right there. Set the mini band down. We go right to our dumbbells. The next one is your deadlift with clean and, with the clean and hold. So pick up your dumbbells, go a little heavy. You probably can go heavier than 10s. If you have 15s, that'd be great too. Looks like this, ready, begin. Deadlift, clean and hold, and reset. Again, deadlift, clean and hold, good. So really the activation is in the clean, where you isolate that upper back. And you're gonna feel your core nice and tight as you go into that hold. A lot of great shoulder mobility. Perfect. You only got 10 seconds left. That's not so bad. And let's do one more together, everybody. Reset. And you can just hold on to your dumbbells. You're not going anywhere with them. Bicep curl. So narrow grip, curl, soft knees, press straight up, catch, and curl back down. Ready? Set. And here we go. Curl. Knees are soft. If you need to add a little bit of a knee and push, you can, especially if you have heavy weights. Get it. If you need to keep it a little bit gentler on the body, you could also do one weight like this, curl, press, and you'll notice a big change on the shoulders if you need that. All right, you got 10 seconds to go, come on. Nice compound exercise right here for you. All right, one more time. And that is all, time is up. Set those weights off to the side. We're gonna finish up with jumping jacks. Okay, that is your final move in this set and then we're gonna repeat from the top. So ready, jumping jacks? Let's begin right here. Jack it out. And just, we're gonna increase the intensity. Okay, every 10 seconds. So we hit that first mark. So go a little bit faster. Come on. Perfect. We're gonna increase the intensity a little bit more by sinking a little bit deeper in your squat. Come on. I keep the pace. Perfect. Last eight seconds. Can you go a little bit deeper in the squat and stay as fast as possible? It's hard. And time, Whew. you did it. Kick your heels to the front, active recovery, roll your shoulders. All right, so this is that drop down workout. So we're gonna go into 30 seconds, that's next. Same exercises, starting with the jump rope, right? So the jacks, you feel, you feel the quads, feel the calves, but really the jump rope is for the calves almost, um, can, almost completely. All right, so jumping, or sorry, jump rope 30 seconds. Let's go right here. 30 seconds out. We're gonna change it up. So go side to side with the jump rope. Side to side. Halfway through, we're gonna go forward and back. Switch your arms and go forward and back with your feet. Good, nice and quick. It's gonna be so fast, guys. You're going up five seconds to go. And time is up. Whew. We did it. Okay, moving right along. Row with the mini band. Grab a hold of it, or if you got your long band, great. All right, take a deep breath. Hinge out your hips, pull your mini band apart, and let's row right now. Pull, push down. I like doing this with the mini band over the long band if possible, because you get the work in both directions. Good. So feel this in your back, not your neck. Go lower on the body if you need to. Good job, you only have 10 seconds left. So fast. I want you to hold this next one up for three seconds. Ready? Hold it up for three, two, one, and release. Good. Put that guy down. Grab your dumbbells, deadlift to clean. So get ready. Shoulders roll back. Woo! Starting to feel that upper back. Here we go. Deadlift, clean, and hold. Reset. Perfect, keep it coming, deadlift. Now I'm gonna ask you to pause a little bit longer in that clean. Are you ready for it? 
We're gonna pause for three seconds right here in the clean. Three, two, one, reset. Do it again, deadlift. Clean and hold for three, two, one. You've got one more time. Deadlift and hold. Good job. And you're done. Hold on to the weights. Right into our bicep curl to press and begin. Curl, press. Now, when you are releasing these weights down, I want you to think about your triceps working to push the weights back. Woo! That gives a little different feeling, doesn't it? Remember, continue to use your legs if you need a little push to the top. And you're almost there. Let's get one more rep. The last one right here. And done. Good. Weights down. We finish up with our set of jumping jacks. 30 seconds. Get ready. Get set. And let's go. Come on, jack it out. Just nice, moderate tempo to get going. Perfect. Speed it up right here. Come on. We're going to take it to that next layer where we have a bigger squat. Ready? And drop down. But continue to go fast. You've got five seconds to go. And time is up. Whew. Done. All right. One more round. Yeah, shake it out a little bit. 20 seconds for every move, starting with our jump rope. Now, challenge is to do jump rope on one foot for 10 seconds and the other foot for 10 seconds, or you can just kind of alternate back and forth to get a little bit of that single leg work if possible. All right, sorry, I got some wood chips under my feet. Here we go. 20 seconds, jump rope, one foot if you can, go. Oops, I got a push start, that helps. Yep, get that balance. Maybe you need to have a little bit of a toe tap on the ground like this, okay, to help you out. Switch legs. Can you switch directions of your arms as well? Ankle stability, what we're working right here. And time is up. All right, grab your mini band and let's row it out. Whew. Pull it apart, ready? Let's go, pull and hold and push down. And I want you to think about your elbows hugging around behind your back. And one more rep. This is it. And time is up. Good. Grab your weights. Deadlift with the clean. Roll those shoulders back. Get ready. Get set. Here we go. Deadlift. Clean and hold. Just regular tempo. Think snappy hips. <sighs> Try to make it a little bit more fluid. Deadlift right out of it into the clean. <sighs> and one more rep right here. This is it. We're going to hold on to our dumbbells. Reset. Bicep curl to press. Get ready. Get set. And let's go. Curl, press. Remember, you still got that push back for the triceps. There's no swinging going on at all with this move, even though it's at the end, we're feeling a little tired. You've got one more rep and that is it. And weights go down and we're into our final round, jumping jacks, go do them however you want, but try to go highest intensity if possible. Ready, set, let's go, come on. 20 seconds, burn it out. Come on, come on, knees soft. Final eight seconds. Three, two, one, and done. You did it. Awesome job. So get a quick drink of water. Whew. It's already after six. Man, we're doing great. Okay, so now we are going to move into a core set. And this is a long core set. It's like 12 minutes long. 
but it's really like full body, but with some core, okay? So if you have your lighter weights, this is when you're gonna probably use them for this first move. All right, you're gonna be um, in a plank position. Now you can also do this from tabletop or with your knees on the ground, okay? You're kind of on the front of the legs, not on the kneecaps, okay? But plank position, if possible, feet wide. You're gonna pull one arm up, so row, extend, in, and down, and then switch to the other side. So pull, extend, in, and down. Now option right, be on the knees, and it's a little bit more stable in that position. So choose which one you want. We're gonna start with 40 seconds. We do have two different rounds um, for this exercise, but we'll just go all the way through the list and come back at it again. All right, so first exercise ready, plank position, row, extend, in, and down. Again, alternate sides, but do not let those hips wobble at all. Woo! When you brace like this, you are resisting rotation. You are creating so much strength in your core. Nice work, nice work. Even though these are light weights, you still gotta make sure that tricep engages as you push back. And that is it. Time is up. And we're gonna sit back and enjoy a stretch. Now, good news is we get to come to our feet for the next one, okay? So you can do this one with a weight or without a weight. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with one. We're gonna lunge to the right side. So lunge to the right side. As our leg comes in, we're gonna cross over and then lunge back down, cross over, okay? So the very small movement, right? If you don't wanna use the weight, it looks like this. Lunge and elbow to knee, lunge, elbow to knee. So either one is fine, so one side only. Sorry, I like the hiccups. <laughs> All right, ready, set, and begin. Lunge it and then knee to elbow. So as you're coming up, it's slow and controlled to cross the midline. Now, maybe you don't want to lift the leg. This is your option, just tap and rotate. I think this one is a harder, harder than it looks move, right? Gonna work on those balance acts of ours. And let's do one more time right here. You've got it, and done. Whew. Shake it on out. Same thing, other side. Make sure your space is clear. I'm notorious for not doing that, so just reminding you. And here we go. Lunge to the other side, and we cross. Again, slow and steady. If you want to, think about elbow to knee, okay? but your hips stay forward. Good job, good job. Over halfway, woo. All right, let's get just two more in here. Come big squeeze through the midsection. And time is up. Woo, you can set your weight down for a moment. Move side to side, rotating. Enjoying that little stretch. Let me see what's next here. All right. I gotta remember what I was thinking on this one. <laughs> Single leg, knee lift. Okay, so we're gonna use a light weight here. A light weight. We're gonna lift one leg up. Okay, so light weight. We're gonna lift it up. Okay, to the front. Okay, then we're gonna grab a hold of it and go out to the side and then cross over. Okay and then back to the center. So we're making like going up, side, side, and then doing again, same leg lifted the whole time. So it looks like this. We come up the middle, open out to the side, cross over, back, and then right back up, and then we'll go to the other side, okay? And then I'll just follow me. It's gonna make sense once we do it. <laughs> Ready? And let's begin. So one leg lifted, press up, and open to one side, cross over through the midline, Open to the side, back to the center, right back up, woo, and then go in reverse. So other side, open, cross to the center, 
open to the side, to the center, and right back up again, and switch directions. Open, switch sides. Good job. Up the center, and switch directions. This will be our last one, because we'll run out of time. And right through the center, hold, and release. Whew. All right, I think that was more of a brain exercise. <laughs> Actually, I don't know, felt it in the core. All right, let's go again, lift the other leg up. Same movement, weight goes up. Okay, and set, begin. Straight up, open to the side. Doesn't matter which way. Center, open, center, right back up the center, and switch directions. Open out, Woo. stabilize that core, switch sides. <laughs> And right up through the center. And switch directions, open, center, open, center, straight up the middle. Open out to the side again. And center, open, center, right up the middle. And we'll do one more time, we got five seconds left. Open, keep that knee high. And that is all right there, time is up. Woo, we made it. Man, a little bit harder than I thought. <laughs> I've done part of that, but I haven't done all of it for that long. So hope you enjoyed that as well. So stretch out those arms. All right, the final thing we're gonna do is go onto our sides and we're gonna hold the side extension or hold the side lift. So both legs are, are lifted off the ground. Okay, you can have your head resting on your bicep or in your hand, whatever you wanna do. This hand can support you, or it can just go to your hips, whatever is comfortable. We're just gonna hold here for the first one, okay? And then we'll take some little baby scissors as, as the time goes on. So get ready and get set. Let's begin right here. So hold, just squeeze your inner thighs. You're balancing uh, with the legs off the ground. You can make it harder by holding your arm up if you want to. Good. And of course, if you lay your head down, it's a little more challenging. Now, if you want this, flex your feet and take little baby, like running type motions with your legs. It's optional. It is going to make you, um, it's going to throw you off balance. So only if you want it. So really engage through that top oblique. We've got five seconds left. And done. Flip over. To the other side, we're gonna hit that again. Same thing, alternate side. Start with the easy version, right? Supported, pen the hand ready and begin. Lift those inner thighs, or I'm sorry, lift those legs, squeezing your inner thighs and hold right here. Try the different options by laying the head down. And in five seconds, we'll start that little walking motion with our feet, keeping it small. Staying in the same position on your hip the whole time. Woo. Almost there. Three, two, one, and you are done with that one. Good. Now, like I said, we're going to repeat the entire set one more time. Same time frame. We're going back to that plank row. Probably forgot about it already because it kind of hurt. Where's my lightweight? There it is. All right. So plank with the row and the tricep extension. If you feel like you can go heavier and keep good form, go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna stick with my five pounds. So ready, plank position, everybody up. And we pull and extend in and switch. And hips do not move at all. They stay glued in the same spot. Good job. Again, maybe you just wanna row and not do the extension, totally fine. Come on, just 10 seconds. Stay with it. Woo. And that is all for now. Time is up. Sit back <coughs> and stretch it out. All right, coming back to our feet. You need your weight if you're using it for the side lunge. Side lunge with the rotation. So. Let's go, same side, to the right, way up here in the center, and three, two, one, begin. Lunge, and then twist. 
Now, if you can on this one, I want you to hold the twist a little bit longer. Try it. Balance at the top, squeeze. Okay, this is a core exercise, Ugh, even though we're using the legs too. Kind of like when we do dead bugs, right? How we isolate and hold, same idea. Nice work, and remember, you can keep the knee low and still hold the squeeze. Last one, and hold and release. All right, take a breather, same thing other side. Get the weight up and ready, we go in three, two, one, lunge it. You're pausing at the top. Nice work, nice work. Come on. Go as slow as you can. Come on, you got this. All right, guys, last one. This is it. And hold the top, and you're done. Woo. Set that weight down. All right, moving on. Knee to elbow, okay? Or, I'm sorry, the weight transfer. That's like a big cross, right? So lift up one knee. Doesn't matter which one you start with, but one weight. Ready? And go. Arms up, open to the side. Now squeeze your upper back. Bring it together. Keep the knee lifted high. And open to the side, back to the center, and lift up the center. Go in the opposite direction, open. And together, open. Good work. Right back up the center again. Keep your knee high, it's gonna challenge you to balance more. And cross in the middle. Open, back to center. Go right back up the middle again. And switch directions. It's gonna be your last one. So come right through the center. I want you to go up to the top and hold and done. All right, switch legs. Whew, shake it out. Other knee high. So lift it through the trunk, ready? And begin. Arms come up, doesn't matter which way you start, but I'm going this way. And close. Open. Close, straight up the middle, and switch directions. Open side, open side. Good, close it up, right up the center, and switch directions. Good job, stay up as long as you can. Up the center, switch directions. We're almost there. So close, we're gonna go right back up the center again and hold, I want you to pause there for three, two, one, and time is up. Whew. All right, back to our side extensions. All right, so on the ground, legs together. Now, give yourself a little bit of space to move your legs bigger in those scissors, all right? So now, what you're gonna do, if you wanna start with the baby scissors, you can, but we're gonna go for bigger scissors, legs sliding forward and back without wobbling. So it might be hard to keep that hand up. You might need to kickstand your fingers to the ground. Okay, but let's start with small scissors. So hold, now small little scissors, squeezing the inner thighs, squeezing the abdominals. Good, okay, you can have your hand up for this one. <laughs> Three, two, all right, you might need to kickstand. We're gonna go bigger. So reach the legs further apart and switch. Be mindful of your low back. Don't go as far as that hurts your low back. Good job, both legs push in opposite directions. Test yourself, maybe you can do this without your hand, but you can't tip your hips. And last one right here, done. Whew. All right, flip end to end. Here we go. Or roll over away from your knee if you want to. All right, so start. Inner thigh squeezing, feet flex, and little baby movements. Again, this is a great time to try the hand off the ground. All right, we are going bigger right here. So big scissors, still flexing the feet. 
Good job, good job. Be mindful of your back. All right, guys, we've got our final 10 seconds with this move. And then we'll finish up with some standing balance work. Three, two, one, and you are done. Woo, all right, come up to standing. So this is gonna be our balance and stretch. We've got about, I don't know, 10 minutes left. So here's what this looks like. Okay, so single leg squats, okay? So it still work, but it's not extremely hard work, all right? If you need to hold on to something, you can. But single leg squats from the side view, okay? We are gonna tap our heel to the front and then back in. Tap it to the front. So when you do the single leg squat, your butt is pushing back, okay? And your chest just goes slightly over your leg. So we're only gonna do 30 seconds on each side. And these are just kind of slow and steady. So tap it down heel and then stand tall. Heel, stand tall. So as you stand up, you're really giving your glutes a big squeeze and you're getting some uh, roughness in your spine. Perfect. And we'll give each leg a break as we go from side to side. Don't worry. And one more time. And you are done. Shake out that standing leg. Whew. Same thing on the other side. So replant your foot. Get ready. Flex the foot out to the front. If you need to go slow, go slow, but sit back, stand tall. Remember your foot moves forward and back. Now be mindful that you're not leaning into one side, but really just going straight down, straight back up. And just five seconds more. All right, little change is coming with this move. We're gonna take some lateral movement. So shake out the legs. This time, okay, you're gonna pick one foot off the ground. You're gonna sink back into a squat once again, but this time the heel goes out to the side. It's just a baby tap here. And squeeze your inner thighs as you come back up. So baby tap down, squeeze it back up. Ready, set, only 30 seconds and begin. Squeeze. Squeeze up. Now think about your knee, your stabilizing knee, tracks with the toes. And you should even feel this in your back and your glutes as well. Every time you hinge forward, your back is working to help pull yourself back up. And one more time. And time is up on that one. Shake out the legs. Woo, it's making me sweat. All right, same thing, other side, ready? Set, and begin. Heels comes out to the side, squeeze inner thighs tight. Try not to rest on the ground. I just kind of did that, but try not to rest the heel. Just kind of lightly tap it. Good job. Feeling those hips, right? Those stabilizing muscles working hard, five seconds. Woo. And let's get one more and you can do this. And we will give the legs a break for just a brief moment. So shake out, Woo. All right, well, at least in that manner, we'll give them a break. We're gonna come down into a crouching position here. So just crouch down for me, rest on the balls of your feet, okay? It's a pretty basic move, but guess what? We can't all do it all the time, right? Sometimes it doesn't feel comfortable. So what I want you to do is just hang out here and roll around on the balls of your feet. So just try to do balls of the feet only, okay? Get a little movement there. Your knees will move, but really the main action is balls of the feet. Now switch directions and keep the core tight while you're balancing down here. Good job. You might start feeling your shins a little bit, right? Getting a little warm. Three, two, one. If you need assistance to come out of that, you're sure welcome to do that but kick out those legs. All right, we have a wide plie balance with a heel lift. So come into your wide plie position. That means our knees are turned out, our tailbone's tucked under. We're gonna come down and we're just gonna balance right here. But I want you to put the heels of your hands together, act activate and go as low as you can. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds. 
If you need to have one heel off the ground, that's fine. But try to do both and try to get your big toe to glue to the ground. Keep bracing. Go a little lower if this is easy and push your knees a little wider. You're halfway. Come on. Good job. You've got five seconds to go. You can do this. Three, two, one. Come on out of it. Shake it out. Okay, final move. Back in our single leg sequence again. Okay, you're gonna pick up your foot. So you have a 90 degree angle with your back leg. A little hamstring engagement here. We're gonna squeeze our glutes and we're gonna hinge our body forward as we push back, like we're trying to close the door behind us. And then we're gonna stand all the way back up. That's the balance part that's hard. Ready? And go. Slow down. Come all the way back up, hold. Do it again. All the way up and hold. Woo. Good job. So your glutes squeeze tight as you rise. Keep engagement in the hamstring. Okay, keep it real tight back here. You're almost there. You've got five seconds to go. Our last one. And done. Whew. Okay, do you feel your feet working just as hard as your legs? <laughs> Mine are. All right, pick up your other foot. Squeeze your hamstring. Stand tall to begin with. Ready? Set and hinge, and then stand tall. So if you didn't feel your hamstring working when you were doing the other leg, you're probably feeling it a little bit now as you're having to pull back up out of that bent knee position. Slow down, quick up. Almost there. And this is our last one. And done. Woo, you did it. All right, so all the hard work is done. All we're gonna do now is stretch. So if you want to join me, just lift your hips up high, hinge at the hips here, and then just take a forward fold, round your back. All right, we're gonna come back up. So back to that flat back again, hamstring release. And forward fold. And let's do a little stretch for the back. So bend your knees. Okay, take your arms, cross them over, make an X. Hold on to the outside of your legs. You might need to move your legs closer. I want you to just think about doing that nice cat stretch where you round your spine, gently tug on your legs. We're going to come out of this and reach your arms straight in front of us. Right here and hold. All right, open out to the side. You're gonna cross your arms. Other arm comes on top. So cross, grab a hold of the outside of the legs and tug evenly with each hand. And come out of that with a nice big reach forward. And go all the way to the back this time. Place your hands on your low back or your hips there. You can clasp them together. Go ahead and do that. Then we're going to lift ourselves up, slide our hands down our hips. Feel a nice stretch in the abdominals. Very good. All right. Walk yourself to the end of your mat. And we're going to take ourselves up into a downward facing dog again. I want you to rise up onto your toes. So both, both sets of toes rise up and then drop your heels down. And do it again. Rise up. And drop them down. This time I want you to rise up and round your back. Roll forward and release your hips to the ground. You can release your toes, soften your elbows. That should go very nice. Tuck your toes again and lead with your hips. Draw your belly button in and roll up and back to that downward facing dog. We'll do that one more time. So come up to the toes and lower down. One more time, up to the toes. Good, and on the next one, we roll up, round our spines, and release down, and hold. Good, from here, turn your head to one side, and to the other side. And then push back into your child's pose, and stretch it out.
All right, we're going to take one leg forward into a lunge here. So nice, long, extended lunge. And if it feels good, I want you to lift your hands up and then rotate towards your front leg. Center. And we'll place our hands down to the ground and switch to the other side. Nice, nice big lunge. When you're steady, reach up. Rotate towards your front leg. And back to center. And hands come to the ground. We're going to change that just a little bit. So switch legs, bring it forward. All right, this time I want you to rock onto the, if it feels good, rock onto the outside of that front leg. Support yourself with your hands. This is a really great hip and glute stretch. And flatten out that foot to the ground. Very good. And we're going to take the inside arm, reach it up. And then we're going to slide it underneath our outside arm. So reach as much as you can. And then switch to the other leg. Take that back, bring it forward, rock to the outside of the foot. Again, support yourself with your hands. Woo, that feels good. And plant the foot back down. Same arm as leg lifts up. And then slide in on your knee. Sit back in your child's pose. And one final stretch for the quads. Just lay yourself down on one side. Pick up the top leg. Put some pressure on uh, the hand of the foot. And release. Switch to the other side. We are done with the workout tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of different components in that workout, and you're going to kind of see more of that as we move in or through the month of October. So, again, Wednesday night, look forward to the second version of the 300, along with some more uh, drop down sets of different exercises. All right. If you have questions you want to stay on, that's great. Otherwise, have a wonderful night, and I'll see you on Wednesday.